I feel so lucky that I even knew Ina Maiman, that she was my friend. I consider to be one of my life's greatest blessings. And now that the book I wrote about her and our extraordinary friendship is being published, feels to me like the greatest honor. My name is Lisa Paul, and my book, Swimming in the Daylight, an American student, a Soviet Jewish dissident, and the gift of hope, tells a story of the improbable friendship between me, an American student who was living and working in Moscow as a nanny for an American family from 1983 to 1985, and Ina Kotroskaya Maiman, a Soviet Jewish dissident and refusenik. I came to know Ina in August of 1984 to study Russian with her, and over time I learned that she had cancer and was trying to uh, immigrate from the Soviet Union to receive medical treatment abroad. What I'm fighting for and what I'm really desperate about is my right to use my chance to survive. Besides I think I'm also fighting for human dignity. Her visa requests were denied by the Soviet government in part because her husband Noam Maiman was a member of the historically significant Moscow Helsinki Watch Group. At the time it was the lone group fighting for human rights in the Soviet Union. Before I left the Soviet Union in May of 1985, I promised Ina that I would do everything I could to help her when I returned to the United States. In the fall of 1985, as a student at the University of Minnesota, I launched a campaign for her freedom, which culminated in a 25-day hunger strike. The purpose was to draw attention to me so that I could draw attention to her and to protest the Soviet government's refusal of her visa. My hunger strike ended with a press conference in the United States Capitol building in Washington, D.C., drew significant media attention. The memory of my experience in the Soviet Union is and galvanized American politicians to demand her immediate release from the Soviet government. Most important of all, my efforts gave Ina hope, which she never lost, even as her need for medical treatment became increasingly desperate. Ultimately, I learned the most important lessons of all from my remarkable teacher. That silence in the face of tyranny is not an option. That hope requires a special kind of courage. And that faith can provide the inner strength to never give up. My greatest ambition is that this story will inspire others to stand up and fight for the causes in which they believe. That it'll help people find daylight in their lives even during the times of the darkest despair, and to realize that it is the courage inside, not the chaos outside, that defines us.